welcome. Welcome to Blue Bonnet Crafters. My name is Gabi and in this video I would like to show you how you can use a locker hook on your hexam hexagon pin loom. Can we zoom in a little bit please? Thank you. By default, I recommend that when you're using the hexagon turtle loom, that you use a crochet hook and a stainless steel needle for the weaving. In my introductory video, I also said that instead of those two, you can use a locker hook. A locker hook is a tool that has a crochet hook on one end and a needle end at the other end. So you can already see where this is going. For the first part of weaving, you use the crochet end. And for the second part of weaving, you put the thread through the end and then use this tip instead of the tip of the needle. When does this make sense to use? Well, for once you only have one tool instead of tools, so there is one less tool to displace. However, it is more important when you look at the yarn that you are using. Plain yarns are really easy to work with, but maybe you want to get fancy and use some non-plain yarns, mohairs, or any of these boucles. Here we have a raffia that splits easily, or a ribbon that doesn't bend easily. If you use any of these yarns, um, you know, there's a chance that with a regular needle, you would split, for example, the raffia. Which is not very desirable, of course, or you get stuck in the loops of the boucle with a needle. If you do the same motion with a locker hook, a locker hook because it's not so tippy, very easily slides over and under a yarn that's boucle and it doesn't split things like raffia that easily. Let's take a look at an example. I will show you the two critical parts or the two critical benefits using a boucle yarn. We get started as usual. Start at the top, go down to the bottom and over. And now you can see if we do it with the crochet hook, it's still possible. However, let me just move this over here. Let me go over to the side. The crochet hook is smaller in size, so it's easier to do it with a locker hook because the hook at the top is a little bit bigger, which helps that it slide that the yarn slides more easily when you pull it through. So we do our regular over under over under, and it's much easier. You can see here it slides very easily. It 
it is a little bit more difficult to work with fuzzy or boucle yarns, but the results can be very rewarding. Another one that I have not shown you is chenille. If you work with chenille, uh, you can do it with the needle and the crochet hook, but I find it more comfortable to work with a locker hook. All right, you see how easily it slides here. All right, let me now advance to finishing the triangles at the top and the bottom. And when we switch to the other method, I will see you again. All right, the top triangle and the bottom triangle are complete at this point. It's really hard to see because the yarn is so fuzzy. Maybe we can zoom in one or two clicks, please. One more. Oh, perfect. Thank you. All right. So again, the top and the bottom triangle are ready. Uh, and we have done this with our, with the crochet hook end of our locker hook. And now we are switching to the regular weaving. One two, three, four, five, and two, the top for some extra end to sew our hexagons together. And now we start using the other end of the locker hook. So the thread goes through here. And now we take our loom, and now it definitely becomes very obvious very quickly um, with the locker hook because the tip is much smoother than of the needle. The under over goes very smoothly. And this is a big benefit. So it doesn't split and it doesn't hang. If we were to do the same with a steel needle, you would see that you have to be much more careful to not get snagged in the yarn. Now here we go. So this is like it's much more comfortable to do it with a locker hook at this point. There we go. And pack and turn one more row but I think you're getting the idea I want to show you one more thing over under over under over under to the other side and you will feel how comfortable this is because it won't snag one thing I want to show you over here is that the locker hook is bigger, it's thicker, and sometimes it will get stuck between two nails. All you need to do is just turn it a little bit to the side, and then it will go through just very smoothly. All right, so that's the story about when to use the locker hook. One tool instead of two, and more comfortable to work with when you have yarns that easily split or snag because the tip is not as tippy as the one of the needle and you can of course use the locker hook just because you like it thank you very much for watching